quick video on showing you how to enable the um, OPC UA server interface on KIP Server EX so that you can use it uh, on a remote system for client access, whether that just be for, for diagnostic purposes or for um, connecting two OPC servers together, for example. So first, let's have a look at our KIP, KIP Server uh, implementation. And here I've just got a project with, um, with uh, some simulated data. Um, so the first thing I want to do is um, I'll note that if I right click on proper project in here, I do have the OPC UA um, server channel here that says the server interface is enabled. And this is where I can control logging information. But um, as far as the overall setup and configuration of the OPC UA server interface, it's not actually in the Kepser EX configuration application. So we need to go into um, the folder in all programs, Kepware, and you'll see here there is um, a small application called OPC UA configuration. And OPC UA configuration is going to run as an administrator. And here I see I've got two endpoints uh, that are set up by default. This first one is 127.001, it's a local host. So this is going to enable remote, uh, sorry, local OPC UA server interface. And I believe that this is what the OPC Quick Client uses. Uh, but if I click on this one down here, which is the actual host name of my machine, I see that this is disabled by default, which is probably a good thing, just um, to make sure we don't have any ports that are unnecessary open. So I'm going to start by enabling that so that it's going to bind the server to the um, to the actual IP of the of my computer. Uh, what else am I going to do? I'm going to come over here to the trusted clients and uh, see that there's nothing in here. I don't have any trusted clients. Because I've um, enabled this, I need to restart the, um, the uh, instance here. So we're just going to do runtime reinitialize. We reinitialize the, um, the runtime. And what we're going to do now is hop over to our OPC client, which is right here. And I guess I should have grabbed the port. We also need to know the port. Uh, 49320. Actually, there's one more thing we need to do first. Uh, firewall. So Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. We did say that we wanted to turn on the, um, the server interface to bind to this IP address or this host name. However, Windows Firewall is not going to allow us to communicate with us, so we're going to create a new inbound rule here because we don't have any rules for the this um, OPC server. So I'm going to, just going to say new rule, um, and I'm going to do a port-based rule. I don't know what the actual ex uh, application is called, and we're going to say 49320, 49320 on TCP. Okay allow the connection and not on the internet facing interfaces, but just on private and domain network interfaces. We'll give it a name, OPC server, uh, OPC UA server interface. Uh, we'll put Kepware in here just so that it's easier to see in the list. And now if I sort this list by OPC, uh, I should see this real OPC UA server interface Kepware that's allowing that traffic to come in on 49320. So now let's go over to uh, Jiva 1v2. Let's go over to here and we put opc.tcp Jiva 1v2 uh, and 49320. Enter and here it's saying okay we can we have some options that we're getting back from the server the sign in encrypt and basic basically we've only got one uh, option and um, and here it says server does not accept this application certificate so we received a certificate from Kepware and now we're exchanging a certificate back which was refused by Kepware so. Um, 
let's just go back over to here. And now in the trusted clients tab, we'll see that there's been a received certificate. There's been a certificate exchange between the client, which uh, I have open there, which is running on Mac, which is a process OPC UA client, which I'm using because this is a, um, this is a cross-platform OPC UA client that runs on, on Linux as well as uh, Mac. Um, so what I need to do is just to trust this particular certificate that was received. I need to go back into Kipware, reinitialize it. And let's come back over here to the process U, OPC UA client and just reinitiate the communication and we can see that we get connected to it and now i can essentially come in and be browsing my um, opc server and um, why don't i just choose some tags here let's take some current uh, monitor that one monitor this one and let's monitor the current on this one just kind of for the sake of having a look at it and there we can see that so now i'm actually running on a on a different machine i was on a windows machine now i'm on a on a mac uh, different ip address with um, not using the standard opc quick client but using a process opc ua client and and obviously here i have uh, you know some different capabilities but this is the same process that i'd use if i wanted to get this connected up to to some other tools like azure iot edge or um, you know, some form of OPC UA uh, tunneling between servers.